Hi. Okay, so let's start with uh, some demonstration and then we will talk about it. So, hey Google, turn boiler on. You got it, turning the boiler on. Hey Google, turn boiler off. You got it, turning off the boiler. Okay, so what we see here is basically a switch that control the boiler bought from eBay this is a uh, Wi-Fi and then this is of course for a uh, Google Home or Alexa from Amazon so what is the difference between this switch and the other son son off s on off switches so the action is the same you can uh, control it via Wi-Fi and Google Home or you can press the button directly this is a touch a keypad and then it will be on or off when it is turning on so uh, it is uh, getting we are getting a red light when it is off it is a blue light when it is not uh, connected yet to the internet so we have other uh, color I will show how it is uh, going on so if you can see this is uh, something uh, green and then blue and when it is connected it is turning to blue so uh, the difference between this and regular son of switch is the power consumption not the power consumption of the switch it is the power consumption that the switch can transfer to the load in this case if we want to heat uh, water so of course the power consumption is uh, much higher than regular switch that should just uh, turn on a light the light is connected just for demonstration of course and the power delivery of the switch they claim it is still 3000 watts 3000 watts it's something uh, around uh, 16 amps and uh, this is uh, good enough and enough power uh, for a regular uh, heating uh, system at home so uh, beside this uh, the application is uh, quite um, similar than other application with all uh, the control devices by Google which means that first uh, you should download an application uh, from the uh, uh, internet uh, or uh, this is of course for uh, Google or for iPhone Galaxy or iPhone and then afterwards uh, you should register to an account there are details about how to do it here for example you have a Q code that you can scan and then you can download the application to the phone after you're doing so so uh, you have to press 20 seconds uh, on the button so the concept is pretty the same you download the application and then you register to an account an account for the application usually this is uh, the of course the manufacturers that uh, uh, design uh, the switch itself and then after you're doing it you're going to search mode and in the search mode the application uh, find the correct switch and then you can control it after you are doing so you have to go into Google account and then add the application and by the username and the password you then can control it from the Google home uh, this is all for now I will put a link with description uh, where to buy it it looks uh, nice and it's working uh, pretty well as far as I uh, checked uh, for a few days without a lot but I assume that uh, it should be okay like other uh, devices that I've already tested you also have the wiring diagram which is pretty simple connect FASA N0 uh, directly to the switch and then you have FASA N0 to the heating element
that's all for now hope you enjoy and goodbye